John and we got look at this a new head unit now this one's gonna be for the Toyota Tundra so let's open it so I got this from Amazon it took about two days to ship which is great it's coming from the Amazon warehouses in here and I think it's California boom these are all your harnesses you're gonna be able to use like the microphone subwoofer inputs as well as other just kind of like miscellaneous settings, GPS and Wi-Fi antenna. It's all right there. Boom, let's see what. Now the packaging on these are really snug. Now this is the good foam. It's the good stuff. Again, we have another harness. Because this is from for Toyota Tundra, it comes with the Toyota Tundra harness. Um, and check this out, you guys can see. Let's get a little peek inside of it. This goes to the back end of your head unit, and this goes to your power and uh, rear speakers and your front speakers. Contains all that, as well as um, radio antenna signals. Now, it also has this, which is the steering wheel controls, which the Tundra has, and I'm just glad that you'll be able to use all that. Oh. Just some, just some good stuff. Now the screen is also wrapped. Check that out. And more foam. It's protecting the inner housing. So we have the head unit right here. And just look at that. So it's more like a, it's also the plastic wrap, which I'm gonna keep. So when I'm doing the install, it kind of protects that screen. Cause you know when you're installing, you're kind of fumbling a little bit. Now, the, now, what's great about this unit is it's very dense. I, I prefer having the single DIN layout over the double DIN because it makes it easier to wire manage and just it's just less space in the back of the head unit. So just having a, a single DIN, it's perfectly fine. I actually prefer it. Now, some people think the double DIN has better cooling. Now, I talked to the manufacturer about this and they said it doesn't make much of a difference, um, uh, single or double DIN. Um, if you're if you have a double den universal, then go for the double den universal because it'll fit better. Uh, it'll, it'll fill in the cracks some more, uh, having better mounting points for your car. But if this is already having all the mounting points, you know why bother? And yeah, man, I gotta put this down because it's starting to get heavy. But let me show you the uh, the clips real quick. Okay, we have OEM clips for the top. Then we have kind of like the uh, kind of like the mounting points right there. So yeah, this is the Toyota Tundra. Now this is gonna be great because we have Apple CarPlay, wired and wireless, Android Auto, great. We got the new Bluetooth, so you should be able to get better Bluetooth audio. And we have the PX6, which is even better. PX6, that thing's great. More storage, more memory. Um, I think it's a four gigs of RAM. Now the original car, I did have an Android head unit, but it was that older style and now he wants a bigger screen. So um, yeah, we're gonna upgrade it real quick. Uh, stay tuned for that and we'll do a video of the install.